terms of CDC guidance, as you know, the guidance for social distancing, for how far people should be, there's a, there's a discrepancy. Some places, some health organizations say three feet or a meter is enough. But here in the United States, we say right. six feet. There's this new study from researchers in Massachusetts just out this week. It found no significant difference in coronavirus spreading in schools where there was six feet of distancing versus three feet of distancing. But that six-foot right. requirement, that's one of the main hurdles to reopening schools. Right. Does this study suggest right. to you that and three feet is good enough? It does indeed, and that's exactly the point I'm making, Chuck. What the CDC wants to do is they want to accumulate data, and when the data shows that there is an ability to be three feet, they will act accordingly. They have clearly noted those data. They are, in fact, doing studies themselves. And when the data are just analyzed, and it's going to be soon. I mean, Jake, you're asking the right questions. And the CDC is very well aware that data are accumulating, making it look more like three feet are okay under certain circumstances. They're analyzing that, and I can assure you within a reasonable period of time, quite reasonable, they will be giving guidelines according to the data that they have. So any it mayors... It won't be very long, any, I promise you. Any mayors or governors or school uh, district heads listening right now, if they hear you right now and they say, well, it sounds like Dr. Fauci thinks three feet is good enough, that will enable us to open our school, that's, that's right? Well... Jake, I don't want to get ahead of, of official guidelines. I can tell you and promise you, I talk to the CDC, to Dr. Walensky, every single day. She is acutely aware of the accumulation of data and the fact that her team will be acting on the data the way they always do.